And here is the Writer's Almanac for Monday, the 13th of April, 2020. It's the birthday of Thomas Jefferson, born on his father's plantation, Albemarle County, on the western fringes of the Virginia settlement in 1743, who was 33 years old when he wrote the Declaration of Independence. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. It's the birthday of Samuel Beckett, born in Fox Rock, a suburb of Dublin, 1906, who wrote Waiting for Godot, Endgame, Crap's Last Tape. It's the birthday of the man who invented the game Scrabble, Alfred M. Butts, born in Poughkeepsie, New York, 1899, a game that was beloved by many writers, including Vladimir Nabokov, who had a special Russian version made for him and his wife. It's the birthday of the Irish poet Seamus Heaney, born in Castle Dawson, Ireland, 1939, the oldest of nine children. His father was a cattle dealer. Seamus Heaney grew up in a three-room thatched house on a farm. He said it was an intimate, physical, creaturely existence in which the night sounds of the horse in the stable beyond one bedroom wall mingled with the sounds of adult conversation from the kitchen beyond the other. And it's the birthday of the writer who said, One place understood helps us understand all places better. The writer Eudora Welty, born Jackson, Mississippi, 1909, studied literature in college, wanted to become a writer or a photographer, but she needed a day job, worked for a while at a radio station in Jackson, spent a couple years as the society columnist for a Mississippi newspaper, worked as a photographer for the Works Progress Administration, and she hung out with her friends in Jackson. They played word games, went on picnics, drank bourbon, listened to jazz. She felt the depression was less obvious in Mississippi than other places because it was such a poor state to begin with. When she was in her mid-twenties, she sent a story to a literary magazine, and it was accepted, and that was the beginning of her career. Eudora Welty, who said, I'm a writer who came of a sheltered life. A sheltered life can be a daring life as well, for all serious daring starts from within. Here's a poem by James A. Zoller, Wyoming, 1952. When I was a small child, when seat belts were a luxury, unsought, my older brothers took the window seats while I hung forward into the grown-up space, my feet on the hump down the center of the floor. This is how I learned what I needed about survival, about us, about the natural order. Father behind the wheel, mother reading maps, comfortable talk, passing like fence posts, ordinary as sagebrush, just a still point in the rushing panorama. For all I knew, I could be anything I might imagine, aiming along the hood's raised spine down the straight black highway that opened into the future a mile a minute, reaching all the way to a horizon, always just a few more giant strides ahead. Wyoming, 1952, a poem by James A. Zoller from Ash and Embers, published by Cascade Books and used by permission here on The Writer's Almanac. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.